You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in the studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender, Brent Humphreys is in the house. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Ron. Glad you were able to put that book down today. For those of you on social media that <laughs> are watching, you'll understand the slight bit of humor there. So uh, Brent uh, is reading a book. It's all about helium, right? Yeah, I couldn't put it down. Couldn't, couldn't put it down. Just, just uh, you know, so I think that my guys are here, Brent, and they're ready for you today. Some of those humorous things, you know, we got, we got them, we got them going. <laughs> <laughs> just like potassium and oxygen went on a date last night. I heard it went okay. I guess you have to be a scientist to understand that. Something like that. Gotcha. But I'm glad we have good chemistry, Ron. There we go. Absolutely. Hey, let me remind you, if you ever have any more finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money. I personally work with you, even if you don't have any needs today. Save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Those of you that were not working yesterday for the Martin Luther King celebration, hey, welcome back to work. It might feel like Monday today, so you're going to have to be watching your clocks all day long to make sure that you're not on the wrong time zone, that you're not leaving early, all that kind of good stuff. But for me, I'm uh, just celebrating because, uh, hey, that's what we do on Ron Siegel Radio. Celebrating every day, we look and say, okay, what is there in this great land of ours to celebrate? So we look at the celebrations of the day calendar. Every once in a while, there's a, a tough one where we get nothing that's good. But today, let's see. Uh, this one can cause trouble, Brent. Uh oh. Especially for you. This one might be really difficult for you today. Uh oh. Today is National Blonde Brownie Day. Oh. Now yeah. you mentioned that you're on a mission here, so I don't want. I. I. Boy, look at it, the look at his face. <laughs> Where was Ron going with this one? We could just tell that right there. You've so. had some good zingers over the last <laughs> four years, so you never know what to expect when you come in. Zingers. No, that would not be a blonde brownie, though. No. That's a different dessert. It sounds high in calories, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. But and we are continuing on National Pie Week. So I saw our friends over at Polly's. They've got a special on pies right now. So I may be heading over there after the broadcast to get... get I, I was going to say to get a piece, but that might get me in a little bit of trouble there, too. You're a pretty yeah. pious person. Pious you? person, yes. 3131, some, I don't know, something like that. Hey, let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's down 284 points as we speak. Ow! Yeah, that's been a little bit treacherous for those folks that are investing in the markets. You've been watching a little bit of uh, chaos in the stock market. We'll talk about why that's happening. We'll talk about what will change that from happening. We are on day five. Now, some of you that looked at the headline of the broadcast today think it's day 32, but for many of us, Brent Humphreys would be excluded here. <laughs> today is day five. Gas prices have been going up slightly every day for the last five days. You wouldn't know that, probably. Uh, Mr. Tesla here. $2.25.2 cents is the national average here in Taxifornia at a dollar. 1.5, so it's 326.7 in Taxifornia. Missouri is still leading the country at 189 and a half. The oil producing state of Hawaii, 
327.1. So they're just, they've beat us by about a half a cent. So a little bit higher in Hawaii than it is here in Taxifornia. They've got a little extra cost though, I think, getting gasoline to Hawaii from here. U.S. 10-year Treasury, that's down four basis points, 2.744. Not good news for our seniors. They like that to go a little bit higher, but we're still seeing people talking about the idea that the U.S. economy probably cannot survive or, or handle right now going up over 3.0 on the 10-year Treasury. But why is all of this happening? And I know there's a lot of speculation out there as to what's going on. Everybody has their own reason. Obviously, day 32 of the Schumer shutdown 2.0 does have an effect on it. But the real effect is coming out of... I think the president was going to pipe in here, so i got to, I got to respect the president. Where's that coming from, Mr. President? China. Yeah. China. China. Okay, we got it. We got it. So listen to this one. We hear all the numbers that come out of China. Do you believe most of them? Do you believe hardly any of them? So here's a number that's a little bit more empirical out of China. China has a what they call a VAT tax, a value-added tax. Whenever you do any work on products in China, they add a tax to it and collect that. It's not like here. It's not like Spain. I don't know if you caught the idea of taxes in Spain this morning. There was a fascinating article here. And again, I am not a soccer aficionado. Those of you that are soccer aficionados might know this name. It is Cristiano Ronaldo. So he was fined $21.6 million for tax fraud. Now again, I am not a soccer guy, but the guy makes $108 million a year in play, to play soccer. Uh, I, again, I know it's a popular sport. If I wanted to watch the grass grow, I can do that at home. I don't need to go and pay for it. But this guy didn't pay his taxes. So in Spain, you know what the... Or Portugal. You know what the fine is or the, the, the sentence is for not paying $21.6 million in taxes? Yeah, they're going to slap him on the wrist. He's going to get 23 months of jail time. Now, here's the issue. Anything under 24 months in that country, you don't actually have to go to jail. So his 23-month prison sentence or his uh, sentencing means no jail time. I wonder if he has to pay the $21.6 million. I think, would, would you trade 23 months of no jail time for $21 million of no tax? Just throwing that out there. Why would you sentence someone to jail and then not make them serve the sentence? It's Spain or Portugal. It's uh, oh. <laughs> just the way things go in some of these countries. But here's the reason I bring that up. He's, that's his taxes in, in uh, China, China. Right, in China... They talk about a, their economy has slowed down to 6.6% GDP growth. Now, most countries in the world say 6.6, that's a pretty big number. Well, most people don't believe what they have to say in China anyway, right? I mean, China. here's the way you can kind of tell that their economy is slowing. Their VAT tax collection, when the economy is doing well, is about $100 billion. Right now, they collected uh, just over $20 billion. So the issue is, is if the collecting collection of taxes is down by 75%, well, yeah, that's painful. The economy must be slowing down significantly. Maybe the tariffs are working. Maybe we'll see some uh, solutions there. That might be a good thing. We'll continue watching that for you. That's what we do right here on Ron Siegel Radio. Speaking of fines, how about this one? Now, very few in the world could say $57 million fine is just a slap on the wrist, kind of lunch money, maybe a rounding error. <laughs> lunch money. Right? But that's the fine that was just levied on Google by the country of France, $57 million for a violation of Europe European privacy codes. 
Now, they could get the same fine or similar fines from the other European Union members. $57 million for data privacy rule breaches, marking the first major penalty brought against a U.S. technology giant since the region-wide regulations took effect last year. I wonder what would happen in France if Google just said, okay, we're going to pay the fine, we will do as we're told, but we're going to also shut down our Google system France-wide. Do you think the French government might change their way of thinking? Do they have that kind of power? Now, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life, and I know that entrepreneurs do not like being told what to do and how to do it. At some point in time, that might happen. Now, they may not want to do that because it may be that the U.S. follows suit. That might be a different story for Google, but just throwing that out there for you to watch. We're going to talk about a lot of different issues this morning. Brent Humphreys has done his homework. <laughs> So we're going to learn about Brent's homework. Day 32 of the government shutdown. What's the effect on real estate? Well, Brent's going to share that with us. So we will be the recipients. You know something? I'm going to, I might even just kind of steal his notes and say that you know, it came from me some point in time. <laughs> we'll give you the attributes, Brent. Do you prefer the charm of an existing home? That's a question. We might even have some information about that in the Mortgage Minute today. And what is umbrella insurance? I hope you don't need an umbrella today because it's pretty windy outside. All that and more, you can reach me anytime. Off air number 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. But the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube or ronsiegelradio.com in the archives. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home value. Refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, 
and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990. In the Mortgage Minute today, being brought to you by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star is the only one I know of with the Fast Pass loan approval, saving you ten to fifty thousand dollars on the purchase of your new home. They do that by getting you totally underwritten before you go out shopping for a new home. So, how does that benefit you? Well, the benefit is, is that you're competing with cash offers. Your real estate professional no longer sets uh, or needs to get a loan contingency. So the offers are accepted much quicker. That's just the thought there. That is more the, our friends at Gold Star. Now, let's look at the markets for you, see what the markets are doing. We like to watch that every day. Not just what the markets are doing. The important part is why the markets are doing what they're doing. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 289 points. If you are a stock trader, you're probably happy. Volatility is good when the markets are moving. It doesn't matter whether they're going up or they're going down, as long as they're going. That's the benefit. We look at the 10-year Treasury, that's down a little over four basis points right now. The Fannie Mae 30-year bond, that is up 11 basis points. That means mortgage rates are down a little bit today, so that'll be reported on Thursday when those numbers come out. And we look and say, why is all of this happening? There have been some reports came out Today, well, there's, again, we look at the glo- the global economic slowdown. They're talking about that by the International Monetary Fund. They're all in Davos, Switzerland. Now, I don't know why they go to Davos, Switzerland in January. It's cold over there. I guess they can't sing that song, though. Comments combined with the data from China showing the slowest growth in almost three decades, pressuring stocks around the globe. Mortgage bonds are higher as a result, moving off that 25-day moving average, Ray Dalio, the founder of the world's largest hedge fund, Bridgewater, sees a significant risk of a possible recession in 2020, right in line with what we've been saying about a recession in 2020, partly due to a near-inverted yield curve, the bottoming of the unemployment rate, and a slower economic growth. As we have said before, make sure you plan your business accordingly. Recessionary periods are usually coupled with periods of low interest rates, so you may have a refinance uh, opportunity coming up in the near future. Existing home sales tracks closings on existing homes fell 6.4% in December after two consecutive months of increases, which was well below the 1.3% drop expected. Why did we see such a drop? few explanations, but this was a weak figure. First, closing in December are likely representative of people out shopping for homes in October, which is when rates were at their highest peak of the year. Of course, this could have a negative effect. Additionally, the government shutdown could have an impact on those towards the end of December that were not able to close because they could not get flood insurance in some areas of the country where it is required. Rates have improved since October, and we should start to see sales increase in the reports. Inventory increased 6.2% year over year, but the amount of total inventory decreased from 1.74 to 1.55 million units. There was a 3.7 month supply down from 3.2 month supply. Home stayed on the market an average of 46 days, up from 42 days. Median, well, there's a lot of mortgage reasons moving the mortgage market right now, right? Median home price reported at $253,600. You will not find that in Orange County or San Diego County. <laughs> Very few of those. Up 2.9% year over year. The first time home buyers 
decreased slightly from 33% to 32%. Cash investors increased from 21% to 22%. And investors purchased 13% of homes in December. 13%, that's a pretty good number for investors. Distressed sales, which include foreclosures and short sales, only made up 2% of sales unchanged from the previous month and also the lowest since the National Association of Realtors began tracking in 2008. Whew. That's the mortgage couple of minutes. That wasn't even a minute today. That was some good info, though. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Alex. Glad to see you with us. Todd, glad to see you with us as well. Throw some shout outs here. Lourdes, Bobby Joe, Samir, Clay, Andy, glad you're with us. Cindy, J Jason, Liz is with us this morning. Tim is with us. Anut, Lisa, Lisa, good to see you. Amy's with us. What do you do if you find a name you can't pronounce? Uh, I skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Made it you trying to make me look bad again, Brent. I, Alex, I don't know. Tim, <laughs> Amy, you, you got off easily. I got off. I got. I got off easy today. You're right. Holy cow! So Brent Humphreys is in the house, and he's got some great information with us or for us, as always. And I hope I didn't get into too much of what you had to say there, Brent, when I'm talking about the I Mortgage Minute. I got nothing minute. left to say. It was all in the Mortgage Minute. Yeah, un unbelievable. So the government shut down day 32. Yep, day 32. And, so. and, and uh, the way our politicians work, there's probably no uh, nothing in sight of solving this problem because they don't want to even talk to each other. You know, when you've got a president disinvited for the State of the Union and then you've got the president canceling a congressional delegation to, you know, overseas. Yeah, that's this isn't good. No, I think it, this is going to last a lot longer. At least it, it seems like it. It wouldn't surprise me just because there, nobody wants to. I mean, the solution for all of these is pretty simple. Talk. Yeah. Right. I mean, how do you solve anything when you don't want to talk? And, and I don't know if you follow the the news like I do. This whole issue. Many, I think I do. <laughs> Sorry. Right. You, you probably do. Right. I mean, and, and some people don't. But here's the issue is in past shutdowns, it's been a policy difference. Right. I want two billion for the wall. I want five billion for the wall. Let's talk about three and a half billion. No, maybe four, maybe three. Offer and counter offer, like a right, real estate. Like deal. a real estate deal. So you can solve a problem that way. Right now, the issue is is it's not a problem in uh, policy. It's a problem of politics, and they both sides are so entrenched they want to win instead of serve their constituents. That's the or, or actually their boss, yeah. right? The American people. So. The question becomes, and neither one of us are qualified, maybe you are, I'm not. I'm not. Qualified to answer the question as to how we get to a solution. But what we need to understand is what does it mean to those that you and I serve? Sure. Right? You and I serve the real estate community. So what does this mean to that community? Sure. Well, with U.S. housing, I mean, let's, let's face it, there are a number of people that pay cash for properties, but most people, by and large, need to get financing. Right. And so in past shutdowns, that, and actually it's really ironic, I saw in Facebook memories last night, that one year ago today, I was sitting in this chair in your studio talking about the government shutdown impact on real estate. Really? Uh, yeah. A year ago today, it was January 22nd of 2018. You were really quick in that math, too. Well, you know, when it's exactly, when it's an even 365 and a quarter, right? There you go. I even threw in the leap here, but my son would be proud because he's all into math. Awesome. You know, this shutdown is a little different. I mean, it's not a complete shutdown. It's a partial shutdown. I, I think I, uh, in looking at a variety of sources, that way I can try to, you know, weed out fake news. It's about a 25% shutdown. The biggest impact on, in previous shutdowns uh, on real estate, and particularly lending, would be that when, you know this, when a borrower says, I make generally X amount per year, and you say, great, where are your tax returns? You then get those, and you need to fill out a 4506T, sending it to the IRS to Wait, make sure that they're real. Down. That's a document that's basically an authorization for a lender. Right. 4506T, industry jargon, a document from the lender, that authorizing the lender to go to the IRS on your behalf. And, and I would have said that. Transcripts. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to be too much shop talk, shop talk. But yeah, so if the IRS is closed and can't process the 4506T, the authorization to say, are Joe's tax returns real? Well, then it's kind of hard for Joe to get a loan. Absolutely. But this time, you know, the 4506Ts were not being processed, and then the IRS put people on the case to begin processing them. So the good news is, 
if you are applying for a loan and it's a loan type that needs a tax verification from the IRS, the IRS is processing those. But because the IRS hadn't been for a number of days, there's a little bit of a backlog. And, and many of us, I, I'm sure there's some of you that are included, are saying, is this really done manually instead of automated? It right? Is, it is manually. <laughs> Only in America do we have the technology, the leading technology of the world, and we're still a little bit backwards. Somewhat taxing. Right. Sorry, oh. it's a bad pun on the IRS. I guess we better find, I, I guess I better have sound effect for that. Yeah, I got to have that ready for us this morning. I, Brent Humphries is in the house. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm not hearing it in my mic. So. Oh, you're not hearing this. That's okay. 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 So, so that's one concern, obviously. So FHA has said, hey, if, if you're getting an FHA loan, an FHA endorsed loan where you put 3.5% down and they loan you the other 96.5%, and now I'm on. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> you can expect a bit of a delay. Okay. So we got a delay, a little bit of a delay there, but hopefully your lender is taking care of that for you, right? And getting it done early in the process, you may not even notice it. Let's hope. Right? I mean, that's the, that's the idea there. And, and I don't disparage any lenders. I hope you're dealing with a great one, right? But that's the idea there is that get that done early so that you're, you're ready for it. And that, that's the bottom line of that. Sure. The biggest so, issue is USDA. Now, I know when you hear you, you are a lender, obviously. USDA. Very good, yeah, you're a very good lender, so that's not going to trip you up. But when I hear USDA, I typically think of a sticker on the meat at the grocery store. Exactly. And I apologize to all my vegan and vegetarian friends, but I see USDA and I get hungry. But USDA actually funded 130,000 loans in 2018 alone. Really? Yep. So the Department of Agriculture mm -hmm. is funding loans. Yep. 130,000 of them last year. So if you're in a rural area, which typically has a higher number of USDA endorsed loans, you're in trouble because USDA is shut down. Interesting. But I'm sure they'll still take your payments. Oh, yeah, they'll have to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's opening them or who's getting the mail. But that's the biggest thing. You know, National Association of Realtors did a study. And there were, I think, 2,211 or 2,218 respondents. My computer froze earlier, so okay. that was, I'm just doing this from memory. But it was about 2,218 respondents, obviously nationwide. I love that it's NAR, not, you know, the California Association, where it's just the Golden State or Texafornia, as right. you call it. 75% of realtors reported no impact of a government shutdown on their business. So easy math, 25% did. And it's, it's basically in rural areas... USDA type loans. Now the beauty of the USDA loan, and that's a great loan if you're in an area that qualifies, which ironically enough there is one zip code in Santa Ana, California that does qualify. Most people don't know it. But there are some other areas here within under our, our broadcast map uh, out in the Inland Empire, Riverside County and San Bernardino County, uh, north of San Diego, what is that, Imperial County out there? That South. South, okay, yeah. so that'll have some some uh, impact as well. So those Santa Ana, interesting. Yeah, it's a it's a fascinating loan. I don't know how they got that one pushed through there, but that is. We're going to talk more about the government shutdown and effects on real estate. We'll talk about that more with Brent Humphreys when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. We're going to also chat a little bit about is now the best time to buy real estate. We'll get into that one as well. You can reach me anytime. Our offer number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home. You're missing 
missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. Do you prefer the charm of an existing home? When home buyers begin their search, they want to see all their available options. In many cases, they will both include new construction and existing homes in their search. But is a new construction home really the house of their dreams? According to a recent survey by Zillow, Of the 38% of total buyers that added new construction to their list, only 11% ultimately purchased a newly constructed home. They added that 71% of these buyers are repeat buyers who are financially secure, with 45% using their money from the sale of their previous homes to make a purchase. I shared with you some of the reasons why buyers are interested in purchasing new building. Everything in the house is new and never used, that's 49% of the time. To be close to family, 41%. The home is the best value for their money, 37%. Appealing home features, 34%. Desirable location, 34%. So then why did most of the buyers surveyed choose not to purchase a new home? Number one was location. Buyers could not find new construction in the desired neighborhood and some felt that new construction is not established. Timing. Buyers faced the end of a lease or sale of their previous property and could not wait for a house to be built. Price. Some buyers felt that new construction based prices were deceiving. Adding upgrades and HOA fees no longer made their home fit in their price range. And I will share with you, there are a lot of unexpected expenses when you're buying new construction. You better talk to an agent that can help you with that. Again, never ever put your legitimate name when you go in and visit a uh, builder. 
right? Don't sign in with your name. Mickey Mouse is good. Superman, Clark Kent, they all work. The reason you don't want to do that is you want to be able to go to your professional real estate agent and have them assist you with the contract because that contract they're using at the new construction is geared for them. It does not give you the same protections that a professional real estate agent will. Just my opinion. I have a license. I don't sell real estate, but I'm just giving you as your consumer advocate some guidance there, and it is free for anyone. Number four is appeal. Some buyers' new construction homes are too cookie cutter and models are limited others feel that the charm and uniqueness of an existing house trumps one that it's never been lived in the bottom line not all buyers are looking for a newly built house there are many buyers looking for the charm and uniqueness of an existing home if you're considering selling your house don't wait let's chat see what type of game plan we can help you with that is the real time real estate segment of the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NAST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Find your dream home before someone else does. We are continuing our conversation. Brent Humphreys is in the house chatting about the government shutdown and its effect on real estate. So Brent, uh, you're down there. I guess you're all over, but uh, you do spend some time in the San Diego market, <laughs> yes. right? Uh, there's a lot of government agencies in San Diego. A lot of uh, thankful for a lot of our military men and women that are in San Diego. Yes. Federal employees. How does how are they affected by the government shutdown? Well, if there are 800,000 people working without pay right now, at some point something's got to give. Sure. Right. You only have so much. You know, liquid savings to be able to. You have to assume that those people are are very similar to the masses, right? Mm -hmm. They're not out. They're not outliers, and right. we know that in America we don't save. Right. right. So well, they're going to yeah. be in the same boat. Savings rates in America are, are deplorable. But right. imagine, imagine if you have a thirty day late on something, what that would do to your credit score. You know, my wife and I, um, we support a number of charities, and we often look at the books and you know in December we consider year in gifts and uh, we supported a number of organizations in December and used uh, one of our visas because it was just so easy to you know give online and then sure. for taxes and, and what have you and I checked my credit report every Friday morning you know through one of the, the major organizations and our credit score is always between about 795 and 805 and it fell last week 117 points why because the visa that we racked up a number of, um, you know, we, we racked up a nice, we pay our balance every month. But just simply from the increase in credit utilization for one month, when we do it every year, right? You'd think that the algorithms would say, okay, this is normal activity, 117 point plunge. And we paid it off before it was due. So what do you think the impact would be if you've gone a month, maybe heaven forbid, two or three months, that if you even miss one payment, and you had a 30-day late on your credit report, what that would do to your, your credit score. It really affects lending. Absolutely. So I'm glad you threw that out there, Brent, because I, we have our Get Mortgage Ready program for those people that are not ready to get their mortgages at a given time. And I'm going to just throw some guidance out there, and this, would, this is for anybody who does exactly what Brent did and you pay your pay your more your your credit card bill a hundred percent every time, okay? You're paying your bill wrong. Now here's the issue, and that I'm going to mistake. I'm going to give you this education, so I'll share this with you. Most all of us know the closing date of our credit card statement, right? So I know I've got one credit card that closes about the 16th of the month. I've got one that closes on the 7th of the month. I make two payments every single month to every single credit card. I go online about a week before the statement closing date and make that payment right before then so that it gets there before the statement closing date to try and avoid what Brent was just educating us on. That utilization rate is 30% of your credit card, of your FICO score. 30% now. Ouch. In your, in your scenario, right, Brent, it, it almost hit completely. Right? I mean, because we know that our score is a 500 point score. It's from 350 to 850 or 300 to 800, right? So it's about a 500 point. 30% is 150 points. It is about, yeah. They almost nailed you for the whole thing because you probably have one other credit card or two other or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yep. But 
just remember when you have that scenario, when you're philanthropic like that, when you're doing some year-end tax planning and whatnot, Go online and take a look at that ahead of time so you make that payment. Always make your payment, your ma vast majority of your payment, right before the statement closing date. It will help out your score. So thanks for sharing that, I mean, because that's really helpful to, to everyone. So the federal employees, their scores are going to start dropping if they're trying to live on credit cards. Yep. Right? Well, so, not just that, but just even if they miss a payment on, on anything, absolutely. It, will have, it will wreak major havoc. In so that'll bring board. another issue up that we can use as a training moment. Sure, yeah. Right. So if you have that happen to you, you miss a payment, call the credit card company say, you know, I'm a federal employee or I'm a contractor of and I was caught up in this. Can you help me out? It's, you can see in my, my history that that's not our way of doing things. That's not my, my family record. And call the call those creditors up, and many times they'll give you, as they say in golf, a mulligan. Yeah. Right. And and help you out. So great information there. FHA loans. That's our first time homebuyers. Well, so it's interesting. My computer's back, thankfully, and it's it's really interesting. I read that. Um, who who was it? Well, the FHA. FHA sent letters out to furloughed employees, reminding reminding them of the. Um, the rule book for special forbearance because they're furloughed workers. So okay. just reminding, you know, in terms of So there of is some there is some help there from the F from the FHA. Yep. Yeah. Now now that's an interesting one because and again we're not um, loan servicers, right? But FHA is saying that there's some benefit some some uh, forbearance options, but FHA doesn't make any loans. No, I know they endorse. So I wonder them. right they endorse them and so the question becomes: I wonder how they how they enforce that to make sure that people are protected. So that's just a, a good question mark that we have there. And, and again, neither one of us are in that world. But again, what Brent is giving you is some great information. If you have an FHA loan, you're a government worker. There are options. Call the servicer and make sure. Because I, my guess is a lot of servicers don't know what Brent Humphreys is educating you to right now. Yeah, well, I mean, unless you're in France, where Google may not exist soon. Right, <laughs> there you go. You need to Google FHA Commissioner Brian Montgomery because he reminded servicers in a letter of their ongoing obligation to offer forbearance and cited the agency's handbook. That that was what I was trying to find. There you go. Okay, so... I knew that FHA sent a letter and they, they care, but I didn't have the exact quote, and that's, there, that's and what that, happened. And that's helpful. Very, that, excellent. So... A lot of uncertainty right now and, and anxiety. So what I want to chat with Brent Humphreys about when we come back is how do we deal with that uncertainty, with that anxiety? If you're real estate, uh, you have to understand this, 20% of our economy is, re is real estate. And we know 70% of U.S. GDP comes from the consumer but 20% comes from real estate. If you're in the real estate industry or an associated industry, if you're buying a house, selling a house, being relocated, Brent Humphreys are, is, helps people get relocated. All of those things are gonna cause anxiety right now. We're gonna chat with Brent about that when we come back. We'll also talk about what is umbrella insurance. All that and more, reach me anytime, off air number. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And again, our replays are available, ronsegalradio.com in the radio archives. We've got about, uh, probably about 1,500 broadcasts in there right now. You can get them all. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Our house in the middle of our Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. 
Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lender team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145502 and CalBRE 01869452 and 1-866- You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime. At 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Word on Wealth segment today being brought to you by... Ask about reversemortgages.com. Are you 62 years of age or older? Have some equity in your property? Tired of paying a mortgage? Maybe you're 62 years of age and have some cash and want to buy a house with a mortgage and no payments. The reverse mortgage is something that's there. It may or may not be right for you. Education is always good. What is an umbrella insurance or what is umbrella insurance? Basically, it's defined as an additional level of liability insurance coverage that exceeds the limit of the insurance house, car, or watercraft. Umbrella insurance adds an extra layer of security to people who find themselves at risk of being sued for damages caused to others in an accident or damages done to property. Insurance also provides protection against defamation, damage, invasion of privacy, and slander. Umbrella insurance policies add additional value when the insured is sued and the monetary limit of the policy has been exceeded. The extra protection offered by the insurance is very useful to those who own a lot of assets and are at risk of being sued. Want more information about this? Give me a call, 800-306-1990. Got some great real uh, insurance people that work with us and share with our audience. Be happy to make that introduction for you. We are continuing our conversation. Brent Humphreys is in the house. Humphreys Homes and Estates. Chatting about the government shutdown and how it affects real estate. And, you know, we've talked a lot about technicalities or technical parts of this. We've talked about the FHA and we've talked about the USDA and 45016. If you didn't catch that information from Brent, the broadcast, the replay will be available on YouTube a little later today and on the website by the first thing in the morning. But what about you? And here's a couple of issues, and I know that Brent is going to know some of this, but neither one of us have an answer or a methodology of dealing with part of it. But there's going to be a lot of people that are anxious if you're living around a government area or a government facility 
where you've got non-essential employees. Those would be the people, and even some of the essential ones. The non-essential ones are not going to work. But TSA and non uh, and the air traffic controllers, they're, they're essential. They're going to work and not getting paid. Coast Guard is going to work, not getting paid. Well, and TSA reported this morning that they had the biggest... The, the biggest uh, number, the largest number of people calling in sick, 10% of the workforce, which was triple what it was in December of last year. Absolutely. And, and you know something? I can understand that because how do, I don't, I, the part I don't understand is how does the government go in and say, you know something, you've got to go to work and we're not going to pay you, but we'll give you back pay. Yeah. And make the assumption that they've got enough in savings to feed their family. Yeah, I don't think it's right. It's horrible. Right, and a lot of people are basically have uh, have to go and do something else. It's like I put. Here, I, I saw one of them yesterday. Right. Put gas in the car or put food on the table. Mm. Right, I don't have enough money to put gas in the car to get to work. But here's the issue, Brent: is the, those are identifiable individuals, right? Those folks that are non-essential right. or not getting paid. But what about the guy that owns the sandwich shop? That's right there next to that government facility where people don't have money or aren't going to work. Yeah, if you're if you're not getting paid, you're not purchasing as much. So I mean, areas like right. Washington D.C., Bethesda, Maryland, where there are significant numbers of federal employees, you're right. That's it, it's harder to immediately put your finger on. But the the ripple effect of economics of this is is going to get worse and worse and worse. And we've looked at it. They we're expecting it to be a half a, a one one tenth of one percent or two-tenths of a percent effect on GDP. Now they're saying it's a half a percent per week of GDP. So we'll see what happens there. But I, I see that we've got some notes here about uncertainty, about anxiety. Yeah. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist of National Association of Realtors, had said that when you purchase, surprise, surprise, purchasing real estate is one of the most stressful or anxiety-creating um, trans transactions that you would endure. And when you have processing delays, closing delays, or maybe just questions of whether you're going to get your loan, that adds a completely new layer of complexity. And, and you know, you're right. It is a very, very anxious time. Well, even if you've got a great real estate, and here's, I get to be a, a, a real estate honk right now. Even if you've got a great real estate agent working with you, it's stressful. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if you're dealing with an online service where you can't even get a hold of somebody? That would or you don't have a relationship with them, right? I know Brent Humphreys. He answers his phone, you know, twenty four hours a day, uh, six days a week. Yeah, not six right? days, right? But people know they, they come to expect. Hey, you know, something I can get a hold of Brent and he can help me, you know, navigate this issue, mm -hmm. right? What if you have to go online and try and do that? That would really add another level of anxiety. That we don't want to even get to. Well, what if you're, this is going to sound prepared and it's certainly not, but I just thought of this based upon what you talked about, food or gas in the tank. What if you're not with a Ron Siegel as a lender, but you're with one of those dot-com lenders and the person, you know, they're not there or they, right. they couldn't get to work or... It becomes very difficult, right? I mean, you, these are, real estate is a difficult subject it and is. understanding it, you know, if you, most people buy a house right now, according to the National Association of Realtors, once every 10 years. Right, so if you're doing it once every ten years, it's not something you're com you're, you're comfortable with. You, it's you're, it's nerve wracking. Yeah, and navigating it here, this is a, a big big issue for a lot of people. And that ripple effect, right? If you're being transferred, and oh, you yeah, you have to you have to be out by a certain date. It's not like you've got a flexible schedule. Well, I mean, not to put you on the spot, but imagine if you're a federal employee, you're working with them to give them a loan, and they've just become furloughed. That's got to affect their, their ability to complete their purchase transaction. Absolutely, you got to wait until the checks come back, because you got your your pay stubs in the last, especially now you pay you don't have pay stubs for the last thirty days. Yeah, right. So you have That's to, even, and then you have to write a letter of explanation saying, you know, why is there a, uh, a break in income? Yeah. So be aware when you come back, you're going to have to have that documentation ready ready as well. If the lender doesn't ask you for it, make sure you tell them, hey, get this in the file so that so that it's there. Amazing, amazing stuff right now. Some of the reports, I mean, that becomes minimal stuff when you're not getting some of the reports that are needed. Um, so that's just another issue that we, we, you know, it's important for us on radio to try and share that data with you yeah. or well, if you're an investor, that data. Well, the timing of the shutdown, too, isn't ideal. I mean, you look at it, so obviously, you know, whether you like him or hate him, Trump celebrated two years in the White House yesterday. And if you look at the last exactly two years, the Fed has raised the interest rate exactly seven times. 
Interesting. That is interesting. Nice pun. Sorry. <laughs> but if you think about that, interest rate hikes are not really good for real estate because you now, I mean, obviously that's the overnight rate that banks loan to each other. I know that's not the 30 year, but it always affects the 30 year. Sure. And so seven in, uh, increases in the interest rate cannot be good for demand of real estate because demand is a ready, willing, and able buyer to purchase, right? And we also look at that uh, people are buying real estate when they feel good about the economy. Sure. I had two deals fall apart in, I'm sorry, in December, two in the same week because of the stock market plunge. Sure, the wealth effect. Right, a lot of people like, I lost are, my down payment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, unfortunately, if that's the case, you should not be having that kind of money in the market, right? I mean, you want to have, if you, if you need money in the next 6 to 12 months, it should be in something safe and secure, a money market account or something like that, so you don't have that anxiety, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, because, I don't know, do they lose their earnest money deposit? I don't know. And we're not going to talk about that here because that wouldn't be fair, but you can end up losing an earnest money. So market went down, now it's recovered, but maybe you lost your earnest money deposit. Maybe you lost uh, a mover that you wanted. Maybe you lost the purchase on another side that you, you were hoping for. It's insult to injury. Right? So yeah, exa- that's exactly it. So it's a lot of anxiety there. And what, what causes anxiety? Well, it's fear. Uncertainty. Right? Uncertainty. Yep. So the idea here, once again, and again, I'm not looking to be a honk, is make sure you're working with somebody that understands the markets and you say, you know something, we're on day 32 of this shutdown. What effect may that have or, or, or may it not have on what you're doing? Yeah, I like that, Alex. Anxiety makes me anxious. Okay, that's good. <laughs> good job, Alex. <laughs> so, you know, I, you know, education, that's the whole focus right there. Get educated. Have somebody that's doing this on a full-time, regular basis assisting you so that you can get the best possible result for you and your family. And as always, I ask one simple thing. Set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you want to meet any of our guests, if you want to meet Brent Humphreys, give me a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or Ron Siegel Radio. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We will talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio.